Hello everyone and welcome to this week's TOTS video. I hope you've all had a good week. Thank you again to those of you who sent in your craft pictures. It was really lovely to see them all. Let's start this week's group with our hello song. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. It's good to see you here. The next thing we need to do is find out what our story is for this week. So we need to look in our bag. And let's see what is in the bag today. We have got a train. We have got, um, let's have a look, an aeroplane. We have got a picture of some roller skates and we have got a little car so all those things were different types of transport and transport are things that take us places and help us to go somewhere I wonder if today's story is going to be about going somewhere Let's watch the little video to find out. It starts with a recap of what we've learned already the last few weeks and then it will tell us about this week's story. Hope you enjoy it. God's Masterpiece God is with us. This is Jesus. hey -o! Jesus is the Savior of the world and the Son of God. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing, and they put him to death he died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb, and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! For he was risen. He was alive. Woohoo! Huh? hey -o. And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. Jesus told his disciples that he did all the things that God had told everyone that he would do, and the disciples understood what he was saying. Yep, that makes sense. He told them that he would send the Holy Spirit just as God had promised to be their helper. Sounds good. After Jesus had spent 40 days with the disciples and appeared to many people, hey, that's it. he led the disciples to a place called Bethany. Jesus blessed the disciples and told them to go out and tell the whole world about him and the good news of forgiveness and make disciples of them. Then he said, be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Then Jesus was taken into heaven to sit at the right hand of God. Not long after that, the Holy Spirit did come to the disciples to be their helper. The disciples knew that God would truly be with them always. And the Holy Spirit is still with us today, for Jesus promised that he would be with us to the end of the age, and he is. Great, so did you see how Jesus went somewhere? He was taken back up to heaven. But before he went, he said that he was going to send the Holy Spirit as his special helper to help us do all the things that he wants us to do. And then at the end of the story, that's exactly what happened. All of, after Jesus had gone back to heaven, 
the Holy Spirit came to all of his friends and were helping them to do all the different things that they needed to do. Now it's time for our song. This week I thought it would be nice if we have two songs. The first song is going to be the song that we've been doing the last couple of weeks, Lord I Lift Your Name On High. So hopefully by now you'll be familiar with the actions and the words so you can join in easily. The second song is a new song that we've not done before but I thought it's a really good song you can just dance to or get some instruments and shake them or play your instruments and it's also a really good fun video that you can march around the room to so have a listen and join in. Our key phrase now. Here you go. Hip, 
Hip hooray, Jesus is king today. Should we do that again? Hip, hip hooray, Jesus is king today. Shall we see if we can do it really quietly? Jesus is king today. Can you do it really slowly? Hip, hip, hooray. Jesus is king today. What about really quickly? Should we do it one last time? Do it really quickly. Ready? Hip. Hooray, Jesus is the King today! Great stuff. Now, it's time for our, it's our prayer time. So I'm going to say a prayer. Like in the last couple of weeks, we'll put the words up on the screen. You can say the prayer along with me. Dear Jesus, thank you that you sent your Holy Spirit to help us. We pray that... The Holy Spirit helps us to do all the things that you've asked us to do. To tell our friends all about you. To help people when they are needing something. And to pray for people when they are sick and or scared or worried. Amen. Now, it's our craft time. So now it's time for our craft. This week for our craft you're going to need a paper cup, some sellotape, a picture of Jesus, you can print one out of the computer or draw one, a pen and a piece of string. So first of all we're going to take our cup and we can get a pencil or something similar and we're going to Pierce a little hole in the top. Okay. Now once you've done that, you need to get your piece of string and poke it through the hole. Okay. And then we'll tie a knot in this end of the string. Then on the other end of the string, the bit that's dangling down, we're going to stick the picture of Jesus. Get some sellotape. So we've now got Jesus on the string. With our pen, we're going to write heaven on the cup. We can either write that yourself or if you can't quite write it yet you can get maybe a grown-up to help you. Okay, so there we go. It says heaven on our cup now. And then what you can do with your string, you could pull it, you can get your cup and you can pull it up and Jesus goes up into heaven and that is, can remind us of our story today. If you haven't got a cup, there are a couple of different things that you could do. Lily's going to come and show you some other um, things that we've done. So first of all, you could do a picture of so we've used the same thing with Jesus and we've stuck some paper on here and you can put Jesus on the string and you pull him up and he'll go up into heaven. Just make sure when if you're using this method just stick the paper down the sides. Okay, there's that one. If you haven't got any string you could also use a strip of paper. So we've stuck our Jesus here onto a strip of paper and then we can pull the paper up and he goes up into heaven like that. Okay, so they, those are our craft options this week. We hope you've enjoyed the TOTS video and we will see you again soon.
Bye. Bye.